Hello my friends and welcome back to another Como Rebi live development video. Como Rebi, if you do not know, is a tiling window manager for Windows, inspired by BSPWM on Linux and Yabai on Mac OS. Today we're going to carry on with a piece of work that we started in the last episode. And you'll notice I'm actually in a virtual machine here. So I added uh, two commands, the enable auto start and disable auto start command. And I think the best way to test this out is by just bringing it up in a virtual machine. So we can go over to here to grab, well, we go to summary, to grab the artifacts of this job. So it built the code. And of course, it is not going to let me. Uh, all right, let me move back for a second to grab the URL from my machine where I'm actually logged in. I don't know why GitHub does this. Like, why wouldn't you let people download artifacts um, if they're not logged in? Like, why? It's such a user hostile thing. Oh my god, are you serious? All right, I'm going to download it on my machine, and then hopefully I can just drag it over to the uh, to the virtual machine. Let's see. So copy on the computer, paste, and yeah, it looks like, it looks like we got it. So... If you're logged in, this is the zip file that you'll get. So I'm just interested in uh, the two executable files. First thing that we want to do is open up terminal. Um, and actually, we don't have the where command in PowerShell. So we'll open up a command prompt. Where Komorebi. Komorebi is in the scoop directory via shim so we'll go to scoop we'll go to apps we'll go to como rebi uh, we'll go to oh i need to actually update but all right never mind uh we'll do 0.1.17 and this is where we have the executables right so if i do make this a little bigger if i do como rebi c oh if I spell it properly, Chrome Ruby C version 0.1.18. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do Chrome Ruby C stop. We're going to remove Chrome Ruby .exe. We're going to remove Chrome Ruby C .exe. Open up this folder in Explorer, and we're going to just throw these binaries into here. So now we do ls again. We see them both here. We do comma rbc version, and it's 1.18, which means that if I look here, we now have the enable auto start and the disable auto start commands. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So we can get rid of this. Um, and so we want to test this, right? So if I do, I think I already have, uh, no, I don't already have, we'll get shell start up here. We don't have anything in this folder yet. Uh, at the end of this, we expect something to be in this folder. There we go. Um, I think WHKD might also be running. So let's, yeah, okay, that's now stopped. So we're going to do comma rubby C enable auto start. And we need a path to configuration file. So we'll do env.user profile, if I can spell it right, forward slash comma rubby, or I guess backslash, because we're on Windows, dash dash WHKD, because we also want that to be started. That seems to have completed without issue. We now have this file here. You can check the properties. It might be a little small for you. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think you can increase the size of this, unfortunately. 
but we have it pointing to Como Rebbe C. The target is start config is the, the file that we passed and we have the WHKD flag. Now I just want to make sure, yeah, I do have Como Rebbe JSON here. So this all looks well and good. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and exit out of this. Hopefully this isn't going to throw, um, this isn't going to throw OBS for a loop, but I'm going to restart the virtual machine. Let's see what happens. Uh, reconnect. Oh. That's not good. Uh, what is going on? Does it need to... All right, wait, let's... Okay, there we go. This is looking a bit better. So we just got to set the screen size again. What? All right, hold up, hold up. All right, I think we got it this time. Yeah, there we go. I had to do a full shut off of the VM. Okay, so now let's see. Let's see what is going to happen. Okay, it's running our command. Then the window goes away, which is what we want. Um, and we have tiling. Sweet. Let's open up Edge. Edge looks good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I would say that works. Just works. Uh, this is supposed to float. I don't have many things on here, so it's like, there's not much I can, uh, there's not much that I can open up and test. I can open more edge things. Like, yeah, I mean, we're definitely working, right? And like WHKD is working because I can move stuff around. Cool. Um, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Uh, it would be nice to get rid of that window on startup but i mean this is running a little bit slower because it's in a vm of course but i think that for most people it should be a, a non-issue uh because that is uh yeah i don't know if there's a way to make that shortcut run um maybe i'll look into it but so far so good i'm pretty happy with this i guess this is a short video i expected to do some debugging and troubleshooting, but it's nice that it worked first time. So if you too would like to check this out, you can build from master. This is all now here. Um, and this is of course going to be in release 1.19, hopefully coming around November, early November, mid November. Um, and yeah, it'd be good if you guys can can help me test this. Uh, I don't actually auto start myself because I'm always um, like starting and restarting Common Rebbe as part of development. It doesn't really make sense for me to do so. In any case, I'm, I'm very happy to finally get this shipped out because there were a lot of, um, I mean, there are still a lot of discussions there was like these two threads had a whole bunch of messages there's the discussion about it um it always comes up in the discord from time to time so you know one last thing to worry about before we wrap up i'm gonna give a shout out to my lovely lovely sponsors thank you private sponsor thank you michael timothy leandro Maxwell, Gustavo, Solomon, Alex, Evan, Julian, and Hisayuki. You are all super awesome, and I deeply, deeply appreciate your support. 
if you too would like to consider supporting the project, you can come on over to the sponsor page. You can either be a one-time sponsor or a monthly sponsor. Honestly, even a dollar a month, it makes a huge difference to me. I would appreciate it a lot. If, however, you are not in a position to be a monthly sponsor or a one-time sponsor, please do head on over to the YouTube page, hit subscribe. We're at 601 subscribers. We are aiming for 1,000 so we can get a cut of that sweet, sweet ad revenue to help support the project. In addition to all of the uh, Como Rebbe development, where are my playlists? In addition to all of the Como Rebbe development videos, we have all of the tutorials that we always make. We now have a growing collection of NixOS tutorials, uh, and of course, some pretty cool Let's Plays. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave you here. I hope that whatever you will do today, you have a great, great day. And I hope to see you all back here next time. Goodbye for now.